Hello and welcome to part two of our live streaming for e-learning video. Uh, my name is Josh Faith. I'm one of the regional directors for the Indiana GARA program. And where part one was pretty simple, just using the things you had around, usually a phone or a tablet or a laptop or a webcam and a microphone to go directly to YouTube and stream from there, which works just fine. Uh, part two is going to be a little more advanced. We're going to stick something kind of in the middle of that to give you a little more power. Uh, and I'll show you as we go on with that software. If you watched our screencasting video, you've already seen the software, um, but we'll reintroduce it for those of you that haven't. So just like the first video, we're going to start here on the YouTube page. This is the Indiana Gear Up YouTube account. And so just like before, we're going to go up here and we're going to go to where the icon is in the corner. And then we're going to move over to the camera with the plus. And just like before, we're going to hit this and it's going to give us some options and we're going to say go live. Okay, from here, okay, it's going to ask for some access. You can go ahead and grant that. But this is where we went with part one. We're actually going to change it a little bit here. If you look over on the left-hand side, there's a couple of options. Uh, we're going to go up here to the top where it says stream, and we're going to click that. Now, once we do that, it's going to seem similar. There's a couple differences. So here we're going to give it a title. I'm just going to call it test like we did before. I'm going to change this to be unlisted so people need to have the link to be able to be part of this live stream. Add a description. We don't really have a description, so we're just going to call it test. It's for education. I'm doing it right now, so I don't need to schedule it for later. Um, you can upload a custom thumbnail. That's probably what you want to do. Like we said before, trying to pull a thumbnail out of live video never goes well. So you probably want to make something up for that. Uh, we'll say it is made for kids. Once again, I will reiterate what I did in the first video, that if you do this, you do lose live chat. So that's one of the most beneficial things about live streaming. So you'll have to find another avenue to do that live chat, whether that be through whatever your LMS system is at your school or you set up something on the side to be able to have those interactions in real time. The other way to do it is to mark it not for kids, but then if your students have uh, children's accounts, they won't be able to access it. So it's probably better off to make it a kid's video and then find the live streaming somewhere else. Okay, then we're going to hit create stream. Now it's going to take us to this new page that we've never seen before. And it looks very, very complicated. The nice thing is everything we need just happened on this pop up that's right here. So it says right here stream setup help. And of all this stuff, all we need is number two. And so it says paste the stream key into your software. The nice thing about this is it's already hidden. I don't see it. You don't see it. So I can actually record this and show you and not divulge our stream key all you need to do over here is hit the copy button and when you do that it'll sit, tell you down here in the corner successfully copied to the clipboard which is what we want and then we're going to move over to the software we're going to use okay so i've moved over to open broadcaster software and you can see this is kind of confusing because of the way it's laid out and there's really no way for me to show you this and it not make this infinite scroll back. So what I want you to do is really just pay attention to the very bottom of the screen. Now, it is a little intimidating. There's lots of things and lots of buttons to press here, but really we're just gonna focus on one thing to begin with, and that is connecting this to our YouTube stream. So right now we're gonna go down into the bottom right-hand corner. You'll see a bunch of controls. It starts with controls, start streaming. It says stop recording. It will say start recording. I'm just using this to record right now. Studio mode and settings. We want settings. That's going to open up this dialog here. We've got lots of things down the left-hand side, but we're going to go to stream. Okay. At the top, you have a couple of choices here. You've got YouTube. I've already selected that. There's lots of different streaming services you could use. You could do Facebook. You can do Twitter. Um, we're going to use YouTube. There's two options here. You have a primary YouTube ingest server and a backup server. You want the primary server. And then down here, the key that was already in your clipboard, you're just going to paste in there. And then you're going to hit apply and OK. Now we go back to the main screen and then we're going to hit start streaming. OK, and you should see down in the bottom there's a streaming prompt that shows me how many frames are being done and the time that we're doing. Now we're going to switch back to YouTube. OK, so now we switch back to the YouTube website, it looks exactly the same as when we left. The only difference is if you look up here in the corner, there's a little blue box that says, looks like you're ready to stream. Okay. So that means that you have connected everything correctly. There's no problems with the way it was set up. And you can actually look up in the corner, uh, the top left hand corner, and you can see a live preview of what's going on. So I'm going to hit done here. 
Okay, we have a few settings down here, none of which we really need to change at this point. We can if we want. Uh, enable DVR, that's to record it. So this is set to on, you could set it to off. Um, you can play with your latency. Normal latency tends to work just fine. Uh, your keys and stuff are here. You can put a delay on it if you want. If you want a 10 second delay or something, you could have that. Um, you can also check your stream health by going to the stream health category. It tells you it's healthy, it's excellent. That's usually also here, right underneath your preview. It tells you how your stream's doing, some analytics about who's watching and how long they're watching and things like that. But really, from here, we are ready to go live. And what I would do is hit this go live. It'll prompt me and say that it is going live. And right now, Everything that you see is going out to the internet, and you can see by the little red box in the corner, and it says live and how many seconds there are. Now, your preview is going to be a few seconds behind, so you need to be aware of that. That's something that's going to um, trip you up if you're watching that to kind of see where you're at. You definitely want to mute the tab that you have open because a lot of times you will hear yourself delayed and that's going to throw you off a little bit. So just make sure you're muting that and uh, you'll be able to keep track of it by just watching it. And there's, it's like I said, just a few seconds behind where you're at. Now, the wonderful thing about this is open broadcaster studio opens up a whole new set of tools for you. And it, like I said, at the beginning is a very complex piece of software. It's not hard to use, but it has lots of features and it is very, very easy to find out features and find tutorials for these features. That's one of the nice things about it is it's very well documented and lots of people use it. So lots of people have made tutorials about it. Um, for example, earlier in the video where I was in the corner, I was using OBS to do that, being able to switch back and forth between these programs. I'm using OBS to do that. Um, that's something you can't do in part one of our videos, but with part two and having OBS in the middle, you can use that to leverage these things to give you more interactivity. And that's all there is to it, to connect that open broadcaster software right in between your YouTube live streams to kind of give you more options while you're doing that live stream. As always, if you need any help with anything we do at Indiana Gear Up, feel free to reach out to us. It's indianagearup at purdue.edu. Thanks again.